Hi, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good night, wherever it is that you are watching from. I want to encourage you again today with the thought that God doesn't, just doesn't want to bring us out of a situation, but he wants to bring us into the things that he has for us. When we go back to Exodus chapter 12, one of my favorite passages in the Old Testament, you will begin to see the children of Israel coming into that la last um, you know, plague, uh, the killing of the firstborn, as God started to deliver them out of that Egypt situation. And so Egypt was about to experience um, the wrath of God, as it were, in this last plague. And so when all of that had happened and all of that was, was over and done with, you know, they were given instructions to kill the lamb, to, to put the blood over the doorpost, and also to be eating the lamb in its entirety inside their houses behind closed doors. And when the angel passed over, the death angel passed over, then they would be secure from the plague that was killing the um, firstborn sons. And so as that took place and was over and God now um, was, was delivering his people, Pharaoh decided to let them go after all of that. And God was taking his, take his people out that he didn't just take them out to be wandering around somewhere. He didn't just take them out to leave them on the beach. He didn't just take them out to say, oops, there is a Red Sea. Didn't figure that um, and just, you know, leave them. But he took them out with a definite purpose, according to the prophetic word that he had spoken um, to his servants and to Abraham, saying that your, your, your generation is going to go down um, into bondage and, and be in Egypt for a while. But at a certain time, I am going to come and visit them. I'm going to bring them out and I am going to take them in. To the land that I had promised them. So God had a definite intent of taking out and bringing in. I want to encourage you today that God's plan for your life is still the same. We have just come through and is coming through uh, the situation of a plague that was stalking the land and Confinement saw people in their houses, even at Passover time, around about April the 8th, having their Passover behind their closed doors with their families. We were actually back in the book of Exodus chapter 12. We understand that as we come out of that situation 50 days later, we were heading towards uh, Pentecost. And what we also understand is that if God gives us a, a literal prophetic representation of where we um, are and were in his time frame, then the uh, prophetic um, interpretations still continue. The prophetic imagery is still there. It might not be literal. Um, in how it was in the Bible, but in the spirit, we can understand that things are happening and God is still had still enacted a deliverance for his people. It still caused us to be behind those closed doors and to be pleading the blood over our lives as and over the lives of our family by faith on the doorposts of our lintel, as it were, um, was the blood of Jesus Christ. And now we are in this position where we understand that just as the Holy Spirit was poured out at Pentecost, that there is a fresh outpouring, a fresh revival, a fresh stirring, a fresh awakening that has come and is coming to our spirit. And if we are listening with the ears of the Spirit, we can begin to say, even as Elijah did, that there is a sound. Of abundance of rain and we're not just saying it verbatim because he said it we're saying it because we hear the sound and so I want to encourage you to to flow with that sound of the Spirit and let it carry you into the things that God has for you let it take you out of a, your place of complacency or confinement or slumbering your place of sleeping or place of stupor a place where you've been inactive and usher you into the vibrant presence of the Holy Spirit where the dynamic of the kingdom, dynamics of the kingdoms are, kingdom is happening, where the miracles are breaking out, where the river of God is flowing, where the peace of God is resident and where you are experiencing him, experiencing him 
as never before. I want to encourage you um, today that God is bringing you out and has brought you out, but his intent is to bring you in to the fullness of the things that he has for you. What are some of the things that he has promised you? What are some of the things that he has declared over your life? I want to say to you today that as you think on those things, remember that God's word is sure and that he's not only bringing you out, but he's also bringing you in. Let's cooperate with him. Let's work with him. Let's hear the sound of heaven. Let's confess it. Let's declare it. Let's sing it. Let's shout it. Let's dance on it. Let's believe God's word and be convinced of what he has said and walk with him, even though sometimes he will have to part Red Seas, but let us be um, encouraged as we look back at scripture that the God who parted the Red Sea then is a God who will part the Red Sea now and take you and I into the promise of what he has for us and that we will occupy it and we will be the remnant that he has raised up, is raising up to do the work of the kingdom in this season. God bless you. See you again.